but uh, today was uh, a very different day like um, how my friend earlier said that we had the launch we had a curtain raiser for the bangalore tech summit where we had uh, more than 200 uh, ceos and ctos having a conversation with the chief minister and the deputy chief ministers of karnataka which is an annual affair to uh, ensure that the government of karnataka is doing the right things to ensure that we are having the right policy we are having the right schemes so it gets a little tricky uh, when uh, one of the meetings get uh, pushed so it has a cascading effect and i'm sorry to inconvenience everyone and also disrupt the uh, schedule politicians are known to disrupt only the schedule so it becomes a little tricky so sorry for that but uh, uh, thank you so much um, dignitaries on stage uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen here thank you for your uh, patience firstly i think uh, i should not be speaking more they are the experts they should be speaking the most but uh, i don't know they have given, somehow they thought that you want to listen to me but i know you have all come to listen uh, to the experts not to me but uh, one thing though, my uh, my friend who was giving the presentation earlier st telemedicine uh, sorry uh, telemedia uh, yeah uh, so you're here i saw i saw the map of india i saw a lot of red dots but not a dot in karnataka location three dots okay i must have missed and you're starting a center of excellence in data center uh, is what you said no point talking to central government talk to state government of karnataka will have it done with you let's do a center of uh, excellence in uh, data center because uh, even uh, my friend from cisco did mention that we are working very closely with cisco for cyber security and uh, a cyber security policy sir will be out soon and i'm sure that cisco will be joining us for the enhancement program also uh, the re and also uh, my friend from google was telling me that they are also interested in a uh, uh, center of excellence in ai and they are also talking to meti why why are you talking to delhi hum bagal mein hi hai itna upar jaane ki zarurat bhi nahi hai like he said it's all in bangalore whether wise or otherwise we are good here uh, so so the, the reason i am saying is that you it's quite uh, surprising that uh, i mean we don't speak enough of our, about our ecosystem so we uh, you'll be quite surprised the number of centers of excellence we have we have centers of uh, excellence for uh, iot and for uh, that's a good story see uh, even if you go to meti even if google goes to meti they are going to give in some money and they're going to come back to gulba is going come back to bangalore to set up the center of excellence because this is where the skills is this is where the human resources are because the center of iot that we run was initially nascom and meti they could not do it so they told me to do it so we have done that and it is running for 5 6 years now so we run a center of excellence in iot we run a center of excellence in cyber security we run one in agri innovation we run with uh, one with indian institute of science uh in ai and uh, data science at art park we run one in for aerospace we have a semicon fabless we have machine intelligence and robotics we run a center of excellence in uh, animation and visual effects we run a center of excellence for efficiency augmentation and all these centers of excellence have churned out a lot of talent a lot of startups who have broken the technological uh, boundaries and by this financial year we will be diving deep into new technology uh, sectors and create more centers of excellence in health science and medical devices manufacturing automobile tech automobile uh, technology wireless and wired technology and products we are having a biotech we already run a biotech center of excellence we are moving on to biomechanism uh, bio manufacturing and bio foundry and we are running uh, we are starting a gaming accelerator as well so name the center of excellence that we don't have or we cannot have so uh, i urge my friends whoever is here from whether it's from google cisco st anyone else including we run one with sbi i think i saw a stall from sbi and the lady just say we run a small fintech with rbi and sbi as well in uh, karnataka so the point i'm just trying to make uh, here is that the government of karnataka is open for business we are good at it and the center of excellence the centers of excellence that we create we have only three objective we nurture talent 
we build skills, we incubate, we innovate, and we ensure that those innovations actually solve real life problems, or we ensure the commercialization of those things. So uh, my point of deviating from artificial intelligence is uh, just that because I heard so many, each one of you speak about centers of excellence. And I think if at all, uh, anybody who's interested in par uh, partnering with us for a center of excellence, we are um, game for it. And now we are moving our center of excellence uh, in artificial intelligence that we run along with the Indian Institute of uh, Science in Art Park, we are getting out of it and we are looking for partners. So uh, the ease of doing business in Karnataka is so easy. The, my friend from Google said like, uh, he wants to this thing next, next week, we'll have a meeting and we'll close it. Not an issue, we'll have a center of excellence for our startups in Karnataka by in the next three months. Uh, operating from uh, thing along with Google as our partners and anybody else also who wants to partner with us. So uh, AI is, I think, uh, one of our very key uh, ingredients for our success uh, for uh, Karnataka. In fact, earlier today, earlier in the morning when we were having uh, discussions with uh, the government, a lot of CEOs did mention uh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, the skills part, the AI infrastructure part, and more importantly, a lot of incubation that is uh, required for uh, startups. So we are working on that. And I think uh, India is at cusp of something wonderful to do, uh, to do something wonderful in uh, AI. As per the artificial intelligence report uh, 2023 by Stanford, India has the highest AI skill penetration followed by United States and Germany. And the best part is that uh, we have this uh, high skill penetration with almost negligible investments. Whereas um, US has invested close to around $47.36 billion to ensure their AI skill penetration is uh, huge. But India has invested only 3.24 billion so far in uh, AI, uh, AI skills and still we are number three and like uh, our friend from ST telling me, I was telling earlier, we need to do more. There is scope to do more. And I'd like to assure everybody here that the government of uh, Karnataka has taken skilling across uh, emerging technologies very seriously. We already have a, a commi advisory committee with over 59 industry partners uh, who are uh, advising on us on which vertical, uh, what kind of skill sets to um, take up, which reminds me that Google is not a part of it and you need to do something about it. Cisco is helping us with the cyber skilling uh, part. And as per the HBR tied ranking, which eval evaluates uh, the top 50 AI uh, cities, Bengaluru is uh, at the fifth position and we intend to uh, break into the top three in the next uh, couple of uh, years by nurturing uh, skill and incubating uh, innovations. and. Like uh, the most exciting thing about uh, AI is probably generative AI and that has arrived big time. And uh, today I think we will be able to revolutionize the way uh, we live or the way we have interacted with uh, other uh, uh, technology, uh, other, techno other technologies through AI and uh, generative AI. And now it's become almost like um, uh, a daily routine for most of the industries who are looking to enhance uh, efficiency. According to the uh, precedence, the global AI market research, we are the, in 2022, it was around $454 billion and it is, uh, it is anticipated to skyrocket close to around $2,575 billion by 2032. And more importantly, in India, it is expected to be a $500 billion market as per the NASCOM report. And if we are very serious about harnessing this $500 billion for India, I think we have to start from uh, Karnataka. And uh, just in the, I was just, uh, like I said, we are starting a center of excellence in uh, uh, health sciences and med tech and med produ uh, products. I was uh, having a very interesting chat with one of uh, the leading uh, companies who produce, uh, who are very keen on uh, producing a new uh, breed of health engineers. That's health engineers as, as they, they call them. And they were telling me that uh, the AI healthcare 
vertical will be a close to 11.78 billion dollar industry by 2025 that is next year and we have still not pulled up our socks on that and if we are serious about making that to a uh, 1 trillion of india's economy ai and healthcare itself by 2035 i think we all need to collaborate in a much uh, larger and a more collaborative uh, way and the gen ai market will be growing exponentially in the next few years it is projected to surpass 17 billion by 2030 from 1.1 billion in 2023 that is uh, growing at close to around uh, 48% and uh, ibm uh, global adoption index says that india has an adoption rate of 57% while the in international adoption rate is only at 25% and the us adoption rate for ai is only 34% so quite naturally we are uh, very resilient and uh, we are quite adaptive in uh, 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 to adapt ai as a technology and uh, we have uh, one interesting data for uh, uh, for uh, our country is that we have close to around 70 plus native gen ai startups in india and 58% of uh, indian gen ai startups are founded in or after 2021 so in the last 3 uh, 4 years we are, we are seeing this huge uh, growth in uh, ai uh, startups and just this year uh, in the last one year the government of karnataka has funded close to around 936 startups we have given grants to 936 startups at a whopping 225 crores and out of that close to around uh, 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 almost 15 20% of them are using ai in one way or another so from being a pensioners paradise we are now the most disrupt uh, we are one of the most disruptive cities in the uh, in the world and even in the government we are uh, using uh ai mechanism quite efficiently so uh, we have tied up with uh, microsoft in the in the department of agriculture which helps us uh, uh leveraging uh, technology for the crop patterns and how to how to uh, use drones and everything through ai and uh, karnataka state police have implemented the police mitra which is uh, ai enabled chatbot we also use ai cameras to uh, detect um, traffic offenses so if you are getting more chalans blame it on technology not on the government of karnataka so we are able to detect uh, the number plates we are able to detect the previous uh, uh, offenses uh, whether it's a habitual uh, offender and we are able to also uh, detect the patterns in which uh, that come about so the police mitra is making a uh, great stride it's uh, with respect to that and uh, also in my department of uh, rural development in panchayat raj we are using uh, uh, ai enabled uh, chatbot which is uh, uh, pretty uh, much uh, uh, helpful for me as well as i become the call center for anything to do with uh, panchayat raj or anything so uh, right if uh, we if we've got we have uh, implemented a chatbot called panchamitra so we have close to around 7000 panchayats i'm sure that you are allow you, you know what a panchayat is and in each of these panchayats around 9 to 10 villages so we have mapped all villages of uh, uh, karnataka onto the onto your chatbot so all you need to do is you need to go pick your uh, district you need to pick your taluk you need to pick your panchayat you need to pick your village and then you need to tell us what the problem is whether it's a uh, government service that you want you want a citizen service or you have advice or you have a grievance it will be uh, addressed almost uh, immediately depending on the uh, grievance or the uh, suggestion you will be quite surprised we launched it uh, 20 days back and in a, a month back or so in less than a month we have close to around 1.17 lakh users on it and these 1.17 lakh users <laughs> are all from rural india not a single person from bangalore until and unless you have lands in there or you have some problem with the uh, uh, panchayat development officer there but uh, the point i'm trying to make is that even the government is looking at uh, enhancing uh, uh, the use of technology uh, in uh, citizen delivery in governance as well and we'll be happy to collaborate with uh, 
anyone who will be interested to ensure that uh, their product gets some kind of a pilot within the government that is but of course you need to be a startup for that you need to uh, uh, register with our startup uh, program so we are uh, we probably uh, we are the only government in india who are engaging uh, highly with startups so we have uh, something called the public procurement policy within our department where if you have been if you are a registered um, user uh, or if you are registered with the startup karnataka initiative and you have a problem that you can actually solve for government we give you a pilot and we also uh, see if we can become your first customers as well if if uh, if the innovation is good enough and it's solving a social problem it's solving a uh, urban uh, problem or if it's solving a real life problem uh, together so uh, we are doing all these uh, initiatives based on suggestions from the industry from industry leaders like yourselves so uh, the best part uh, about the government of karnataka is this is your government this government is listening to you and when we listen to the industry or we listen to disruptors we tend to follow those things so that is the reason why the government of karnataka has great policies that's why that's the reason why the government of karnataka is considered one of the best destinations for uh, being uh, disruptive and that's one of the reasons we have 450 of the top fortune 500 companies setting up their r&d uh, centers here setting up their innovation centers here so we have moved on from being a it enabled service industry to a r&d industry to a innovation industry now so and uh, we are going not uh, just in we are not growing just in bangalore we are going beyond it we are in mysuru we have a electronic uh, manufacturing cluster in uh, mysuru aerospace cluster in uh, belgavi we have a skill cluster in uh, gulbarga in hubli in um, closer to uh, mandya dharwad mangaluru we are coming up uh, we have a we are coming up with a fintech cluster so we are doing everything that we can to ensure that uh, technology or businesses are not limited only into bangalore but they grow throughout the state so that the flexibility of investments and generating employment is uh, given throughout um, uh, the state as well so i'll not take much of your time i would uh, like to congratulate um, elats on uh, this uh, great uh, program and this initiative of uh, getting this uh, magazine out as well and uh, i'd like to assure uh each one of you here in the, in the room that government of karnataka is with you we are ready to adapt and learn unlearn skill reskill at the pace that you want that you are doing yourself so whether it is getting in a good policy whether it is getting in a good scheme whether it is starting a center of excellence whether you want to have the best human resource talent for your companies the government of karnataka is open for uh, uh, uh partnering with you the government of karnataka is opening to uh, growing with you the growth story of karnataka will usually depend on your growth story and we understand that immensely and we are looking forward to working and collaborating with all of you uh, anytime soon that uh, whenever you are ready for that thank you so much for having me over and i look forward to engaging with all of you thank you so much jai hind jai karnataka